It's a savage vehicle with regards to DPM. Look at that, three second reload. I fire 20 rounds a minute. 20 rounds a minute means 2,800 DPM in this tank. That's very disgusting. Sneaky baby. I didn't even get spotted until right at the end. How cool was that? Oh, Guys, like, how the hell did he get there? I'd probably be asking the same thing. I'm just very sneaky. Expert climber. Thanks, mate. I need is my artillery to slap him. Welcome. A lot of people just don't realize this thing has the seven degrees of depression. Lucky scrub. I'll do it. I'll do it. Think I respect him, I like tanks? I'm the fucking alpha here. Piss off, you little weasel. You're lucky your team's better than mine, otherwise I'd kick your ass. Put me in a tier 9 light tank and see if you win in your tier 7 medium. And another one. Ugh, stupid team. Awful players. I wasn't greedy at all, I dominated this entire game, and if my team didn't suck, look, he had to go and call his buddy to bail him out. Oh, what, well, you couldn't handle a 1v1 against a tier 7 medium two tiers lower than you? You had to call your buddy up on the hill as well. Good God. What are you going to do? Alright, that was the comet. Do like that tank. It's a beast. R. Crimson says, I recently... Oh, this looks like an interesting comment. R. Crimson says, I recently watched your video explaining crews and it was so informative made me not want to play again due to how overwhelmed the work sound. Um. Okay. Sounds like you just got overwhelmed by the information, which is fine, you know. 
Oh god. I really don't have enough gun rammers lying around or turbos. Bruh. Oh bruh, I really don't. Alright, we need I'm not spending 1.2 million credits. Something's gotta make a donation. I hate losing games in my comet. I got a third class without a battle hero medal then. I don't know what I was meant to do. That 1390 was just doing whatever it wanted. I reckon I probably finished number one on my team in damage in that game. I did. By a lot. 52% win rate gamer. This guy was a 52. You know you're doing good when you're pushing back 52% win rate gamers in tanks that are two tiers higher. I'd even spam that many gold rounds. Auto resupply consumable for, for 10k? Oh, sounds like I need to buy some of those consumables. So here's a little bit of tip for you. Uh, these, you can actually get them at a discount. Gearbox intricacy. So if you go into the store, and then you go to... What is it? Directives. You can actually find gearbox intricacy for 10% off if you buy 100 of them at the same time. So that'll save me 100,000 credits over using 100 of them. Um, so if you find yourself running out, then buy them in bulk. Um, what was I going to play anyway? Oh yeah, E3. E3. Uh, oh, it's the wrong kind of vents. Obviously, I've had to um, get them for all of my new uh, Chinese tanks, right? Anyway, here we go. T1 T3. Solid frontal assault. Hold on. Why am I not using a turbo? Oh, God. Did I just go full idiot? Hundred seems like a lot. Yeah, all I'm suggesting is that if you buy a hundred of them, you get ten percent off. So it's like paying nine thousand instead of ten thousand a pop. Hundred sounds like a lot, but they last for a few months. What's up, Chuck Schildinger? Thank you. De Capo, thanks for being new Super Prime. Alright, what do I want on this map? Do I need a durability device? Or a turbo? Guess I gotta decide whether I want the gun rammer or not. Probably don't need a turbo on this map. I think it's won or lost in the in the the ravine or the valley. The T one twenty three is a tank which likes to use a turbo, but. It's not the slowest. Let's go after three mouse farm? Maybe. Triple mouse without a platoon against? Do they not have a platoon against? I mean, these guys are thinking about farming that mouse, that's for sure. I really like these pole tanks, by the way, boys and girls. I think you've all made some excellent choices. So thank you very much to you all for all of your pole tanks. I think they're brilliant. I can't believe the 279E and Chieftain went down the other flank. It's pretty stupid in my opinion.
Dude, I could absolutely smash my way through these vehicles. Seriously, he can pen my superstructure like it's nothing with heat? For real? Oh, I really wish the same XM454 isn't here. Dude, don't push me right now. Thank you, Jesus. have the inside. I should just take the inside, shouldn't I, right now? This guy's screwing me over. He's got a turret. He can easily work around me, but I can't work around him. He can probably shoot over my hull as well. I don't want to be that guy who just drives in front of him, though, but I kind of want to. probably lose this game unless I push in front of this guy. I'll ask him. AMX, can I take inside? I can't, I can't shoot, shoot over, over you. Uh-oh. That's scary. I guess he doesn't want to let me take the inside then. an HE round to finish him off. At least we're winning. It's like we're capping them. This mouse platoon. Bless them, they tried their best. They're trying. Sorry guys, but tank destroyers with gold are your nemesis. Oh, it wasn't a platoon? Oh. Well, they played as if they were a platoon. Wow, mega roll, 917? Yeah, not a bad roll, right? So what did the mouse do wrong here? They decided to cross like this, and I understand why they cross like that. They cross like that so it keeps their armor safer while they're crossing. What they should have done, however, is just bundled round here, and then they could have got the inside and then side scraped here. In the mouse, you can't turn it into like a long range fight. You actually have to get close to your opponents. Showing you how to deal with a mouse. Yeah, basically just spam gold. Right, look, I... I recently, like, in 2022, I three-marked the Yak Panzer E100, the T110E4, the Object 268, the WZ113GFT. Any others? I can't even remember. I three-marked so many Tier 10 TDs. Um, and I realized that Tier 10 TDs, the reason why they're special is the ammunition. And if you don't fire gold, you'll li literally just... You might as well play ahead.